24 Premier League predictions of mine. Starting off at 20th, which is going to Sheffield United, to put it Simply, their squad is terrible. They've sold one of their best players, Ilmal and Jai, in quite embarrassing circumstances. They're not good enough. 19th, Luton, same thing, not a good enough squad, but... They've got the grit and determination and spirit that I think Sheffield United won't have as much. They'll like capitulate and get relegated by about February. <laughs> so, um, there we are. In 18th, it's going to be insanely tight, but Wolves, they... Pretty much don't have a striker, and um, they're relying on someone who tore his ACL on his um, Premier League debut, so... He won't be fully fresh for um, probably a month or two, so... They're in a pre and obviously they've got financial issues, so they're not in the best predicament. And... Um, the saddest that they have made, I don't think are bad, but scream of unambitious. And if you're not going up, you're going to go down. And Wolves are going to very much go down. I think um, relegation for them. In 17th, Everton again. It's going to be tight because they've not got a striker either, but they've simply got a better midfield and a far, far better defence. I don't know why I said defence like that. But there you go. <coughs> and um, if Dominic Calvert-Lewin stays fit, that'll be perfectly fine and we'll probably shoot up a few places, but like... That won't happen, so there you are. In 16th, we've got West Ham. They've not...
signed anyone. They've sold their best player, but they've got a good enough squad. They've got good enough strikers. They are good enough to stay up, but they will be in a bit of a battle. It will pretty much be the same as last season, except probably less of a European run. And that would probably be ideal, let's be honest. In fifth. We've got Burnley. I'm not. really fully convinced by their squad at all. They've not got their uh, Nathan Seller and it doesn't look like they'll get him. And um, you know, it's very youthful, it's unexperienced, it's uh very, you know, I might not know what it's doing, and it's probably going to struggle, at least at the start. But I do feel like it will kick on, and... Company is a good manager. He's a smart manager. He knows... Um, his way about. He's got players who were in the Prem with Burnley when they were in the Prem with Burnley. And, um, you know, I do feel like they've just about got enough to squeeze 15th because they'll have a lot more passion than West Ham and Everton will, even if they do have better squads. In 14th, we've got Bournemouth. Um, I actually think they'll they'll struggle twentieth through. Fourteenth, pretty much, will be very close to relegation. I think. Um, <coughs> they've tried in the trick they tried last season of like signing relative unknowns and hoping some of the worked. Last season they did, and obviously they had the passion, which I think they'll still have. Um, Bournemouth have always had it, and they always will. But you know. The one thing is, in my eyes, I don't think that trick will work again. And um, they'll drop off a little bit. But Iriola, as much as I think Sack and Gary O'Neill was...
stupid. Ariel is a good manager, and I think he fits a lot of their play as well. So, yeah. I think on having, like, more passion than most of the teams, and just a better squad than Burnley, they will be able to stay up and finish 14th through that. And obviously they have got good players, without a doubt. In 13th we got full and Sutton just seems dead. toxic about them and with the whole Saudi Arabia and Mitrovic and everything going on so they will drop off a bit but they're simply just better than the squads below They just are, so it won't be catastrophic. But I do think they will be in a relegation for a fair battle for a fair while. But by March, they'll be out and they'll be fine. In 12th, we've got Forest. I think same thing for them. Um, they're inconsistent, and I think it's going to be a bit more of the same, but they've got quality players. I think there's a lot of poor teams in the Prem this year, and um, they've got a great front line, and they've added to that with Alanga. They've also not signed a million players again. So, they've act so the team have got a time to gel and become a team during pre-season. Which, um, as much as their preseason wasn't great, they've gelled, I'd hope. So, um, yeah, I think they'll be in a relegation battle until around March, but they will pull out. And they'll be just about fine. Steve Cooper won't make the season, though. It's Maranakis. Come on, there's no way. Um, 11th goes to Brentford. I feel like they'll be in a...
in a relegation battle because obviously they don't have Tony. And as much as they do have quality up front, I'm not convinced at all by Kevin Sharder. And Um, you know, it's their third season. There'll be heightened expectations and they might not be able to deal with the pressure of these heightened expectations after how good they've done in the last two seasons. So I think it'll be very similar to their first. They'll struggle for a while, but around February, they'll start to actually get their act back together and perform really well. And um, who knows what will happen after that. In 10th is Palace. Usually they've finished. Twelfth, and putting them two places higher because I think um, there's a the teams that I've already listed are worse than them. And um, Palace, they've got a really good squad even without Zaha. Eze's fantastic. Elise's quality on his day, and uh, they've got a young team, so they'll have ambition, they'll have passion, and um, I think they'll be on a European charge until around March, and then they'll fall away. into around 10th. Ninth, Brighton. As much as they... do seem to be continuing the streak of um, spawning Wonder Kids in every week. They spawn one during that bloody summer series thing, by the looks of things. Um, they've lost McAllister. They'll probably lose Caicedo. And they've obviously got the pressure of the Europa League. But even with that, I'm still putting them to finish ninth because they're just better than the teams below them in my eyes. <clears throat> no rhyme or reason, it's just that. Eighth, Spurs. I like And um, his tactics will work and a lot of times there'll be some big, big wins. But I feel like Kane will be fairly unsettled this season. And have a season like he did the other season where he did. Score for like two months. And um, they'll have some pretty humiliating defeats. They will be incredibly. consistently inconsistent this season and it will be one of them and ultimately they'll miss out on Europe. Seventh goes to Aston Villa. They've got a
brilliant squad if everyone stays fit, and I think they mostly will. And um, among that, obviously with the Conference League, that might put a little bit more pressure on them, but I th think they have got the squad. They have got that quality manager to do so. And they'll also win the Europa Conference League, so there's that as well. In six, we've got Newcastle. The Champion. They've not got the squads to do both Champions League and Prem. So they're not going to get to the dizzying height of fourth this season, I don't think. Especially when Dan Beard starts for them. Um, but he's still going to do a great, great job. I think they'll make it to the knockout of the Champions League. And... Um, We'll have a good season. It'll just be back to the Europa. In fifth, Chelsea. They've sold their team. and they've bought a new one so it'll take a pretty long time to settle in but by november i think they'll be around like eighth ninth tenth but they'll shoot up because pochettino's quality and they've actually got a striker who knows where the net is to some extent anyway i don't think he'll be like how he is in the bundesliga <coughs> but he'll um, get around like 10 15 goals and as i said they'll go on a anyway i don't think he'll be like how he is in the bundesliga <coughs> But he'll uh, get around like 10, 15 goals. And as I said, they'll go on a brilliant run and nearly get top four. They'll have a bit of a Liverpool season last year. But um, yeah, in fourth, Liverpool. As I was saying, um, in Fourth, Liverpool. Um, as much as I am, um, <coughs> I think they've gelled during preseason with them um, the new midfield and everything going on. Um, they're not as good as the three teams above them. In third, Manchester United. They.
probably going to be in like the title race, but they're going to fall away in February because I just don't think they're good enough because they aren't. And um, yeah, uh, number two, we have Arsenal. I think. they got a lot better squad they've actually got a squad they've got a bench so i reckon they'll be close they won't have to be top for like most of the season like last season i think they'll be second fizzle for a lot of it but i think it will be tight but the winner is man city because they are simply the best team in the world by a mile and their quality will shine through, as it always does. But I still think they'll only win by about three points. It's going to be a tight one. But there you are.